All right, Pickle Boys, this is my review of the new Gearbox GBX Honeycomb Paddle. And boy, it is quite the surprise. So I'm gonna go through a few things in this review. I'm gonna go through some dinking, some, some ground strokes, some point play, and I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts on this paddle. But I won't give too much away, but I like it. So starting off with dinking, like this paddle is relatively soft. Like it's from compared to my CX-14, which I mentioned a lot in this video, because it's what I use naturally. It moves well. So when I'm moving here with Mark, who's my hitting partner, the, the ball is easy to move around. It doesn't feel like I'm coming over swinging to generate pace on the dink. I can use kind of the, the, the paddle's face to get more control of the ball. So the weight of this paddle is 8.5 ounces, which is a little heavier than the CX-14 that they've released prior to. And it, I like the additional weight, it needed the weight. I think 8 was a little bit low um, weight-wise. Which then meant when you're dinking, you can't really use the, the weight of the paddle. Talking away to the paddle, let's go to some ground strokes here. So the ground strokes here were hitting me in marketing yep. uh, back and forth. I'm right. predominantly a singles player, I love playing single. I use a wander backhand on certain things and tuna backhand on when I'm defending my dinks. And the, pa the paddle, the T700 face, uh, the carbon fiber they've used, is really poppy. It's surprisingly poppy, which I wasn't used to. So I'm not swinging as fast as I normally do, so I don't need to do it as much. But with other paddles I've used, I prefer a you know, control paddle so I can swing faster and be more aggressive. But in this case, this paddle is very forgiving, which I wasn't expecting um, compared to you know other paddles I've tried. The first spec is it's 16 millimeters in width, which is a nice change. Um, the CX14, which they brought out about a year ago, uh, is 40 millimeter. And again, this is a very control-based paddle, and this is a very power-based paddle. So when you compare the two, it's quite difficult to compare the two because they're just different tastes. Um, and it comes to that layering system they've used, which is really cool, is they've built the paddle in different areas. So you get different layers and different rigidity. So most kind of honeycomb paddles, they break in this area. I've had several from other companies go down there. So Gearbox made sure that they had a lot more kind of rigidity down here, but also it goes to their soft feeling. So some of the layers are a little thin in the middle to give you more flush feel, and then it's a little stiffer towards the outside for that rigidity again. So they're the specs that you should really know about, and they're pretty cool. So back to the video. I found serving with the paddle a bit weird at first just because I come from a control paddle. The, the power of the paddle is there, so you need to swing as hard, which took me a while to get used to, but once I did, I kind of liked it. I have been impressed by the stiffness of this paddle. It does feel good when using it. it is, you can feel it in your hand that it's got a good kind of a flex when playing. I think that flex is down to the layering they've used. This R3 layering system when they've built up the paddle in different areas. Definitely you can feel it when playing with the paddle. Really important question, how is it for spin? Yes, it does generate a lot of spin. The T700 face with the hyper spin technology does get good bite on the pickleball. All right guys, so what's my final thoughts on this GBX paddle from Gearbox? Well, it's done something that I didn't think anything would do. It's made me consider changing. So my current paddle is the CX-14 from Gearbox. Super soft feel, that's why I love it. Like it's one of the paddles that you can just feel the ball on the paddle really well. But again, this paddle has that extra bit of power and feel that, it's not feel per se, but it's the power that people want. But again, it's what you need and that's the balance in my head I'm trying to figure out. But definitely worth a, a try. Definitely, definitely worth a try. Uh, Gearbox has, has a great demo scheme. You can, you can try it, see if you love it. If you like it, you can buy it. And it's a really good system and it's definitely worth giving it a try. So that's my final thoughts on this paddle and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching.